Good afternoon, new co new covenant world. Um, peace and glory and honour to you. Yeah, entering the kingdom with thanksgiving. Let's go up to the mountain, I'm saying. Let's go up to the mountain and enter the gates with thanksgiving and joy and praise. Because we, as we know, the kingdom of God has been established in the spirit. And when the end came in 70 AD, the end of Old Covenant Israel, it meant the fulfilling of the prophecies. And it also meant that the New Covenant world was born in which all could enter in. And all, from all nations, would be gathered to enter into the kingdom. And this is uh, still God's ongoing plan since the end of that Old Covenant age. And in this new eternal World Covenant Age, all can enter in. And, uh, and this is why we can rejoice in these times of the flesh, fleshy things going on, the arising of heartache and anguish amongst the flesh. And this is so the revealing of Christ, the revealing of the kingdom of God will be seen in the earth. Uh, and this is what I've come to understand. And it's really, uh, it, it really takes a lot of anguish and heartache to reach this position which I'm in. It's easy to go along with the, the teachings of the rapture, etc., etc. But from my understanding of what is written and what has been achieved and what has been fulfilled, is that the end came... And the end was about the end of the Old Covenant Age. The end of Old Covenant Natural Israel. And all that it adhered to. And the, with the, the finality, the, the destruction of the Temple in 70 AD. And so when that New Covenant Age was born, mankind... Mankind of any whosoever, whatever nation, whatever race, colour or creed, could then find God, could find fellowship with the Creator, could find eternal life, could find uh, forgiveness, etc., etc. All those things have been established since that time. But many haven't looked for it and many haven't sought it and many are still resisting. Uh, but as I say, the sons and daughters that will come out of the shadows when they understand that the kingdom of God is in our midst. So let us go up to the mountain with rejoicing and thanksgiving in these times of what's going on. In these times of heartache and anguish isn't for those who are entering in. The times of anguish and heartache are for those who are resisting the kingdom of God and the kingship of Christ. And surely the healing of the nations that will come from the leaves of the trees will mean there will be much rejoicing in the land and, or more importantly, in the earth. So this is what I'm looking for, regardless of what we see going on in natural Israel. Because remember too, they still have to have the revealing of Christ in them to come. And man in his, his pride will keep on resisting it's futile, that resistance is futile and that will just mean more heartache and anguish. The more they resist the kingdom of God, the more heartache and anguish will be seen. And you can have as many wars as you like. 
But in the midst of it all is the kingdom of God. With those open gates, because there is no night. There is no, there is no darkness in there. So those who are sick of the flesh, sick of the darkness in the world, will see that light emanating from the kingdom and enter in and make their way up the mountain. So let's go, go to the mountain with rejoicing. And we know the religious ones will resist the idea that the kingdom of God is here on earth right now. And as, as we've said many times in the past, the kingdom of God cannot be seen, nor is it made with human hands, nor with bricks and mortar, but it is here in the earth. And it has to be realised and understood, because man's ways are futile. But in the foolishness of man, they will keep on resisting and keep on going their own way. But eventually, they will have to surrender. They will have to give in. And there will be much travail, as we said. There will be much travail and pain and heartache in the world until they finally surrender to Christ and realise that he's here, he's never left the earth. He's never left the earth. And he's not very far from every single one of us. In all and through all. And all we have to do is surrender no matter who we are. Whatever race, religion, colour or creed we are. You have to surrender to Christ. So he can enter into the kingdom. And realise that like, your destiny is in him. And all a man's destiny is in Christ. So let's go up to the mountain with rejoicing.